This video is an overview of how to make a scale. So once again, I've kind of put a couple notes here just if you want to add these to your toolkit. Uh, to find the missing numbers on a scale, find the difference between two points. So for example, 8 and 20, I need to first figure out how big is this space. So difference means subtract, so 20 minus 8 is 12. So the space between here is 12. Then I want to find how, how many spaces. So I have one space, two space, three spaces, four spaces. So I have four spaces. And so each space, divide the value 12 into how many spaces I have. So 12 divided by four equals three per space. So what I'm doing is I'm basically going up by three. So I can kind of fill these in by three. So 11 plus three is 14. 14 plus three, 17. 17 plus three gives me my 20. And then I can keep going up from there. 23, and I can also go backwards. So what number plus three would give me eight, or I can think about eight minus three gives me five. So I can kind of figure the rest of that out. Now on occasions, you will see one that's not as standard. So typically, you know, I mean, it looks kind of normal, like six and 12, and you would go through the same process as above. So sorry about that. So once again, finding the difference between these points. So 12 minus six is six. And then I have one, two, three, four spaces. And I can see that four divided by six, sorry, six divided by four is not, an, does not go in evenly. So I'm gonna have to do, you know, um, So how many times does four go into six? Uh, it goes in once. And then I'm gonna bring down my zero and I can see here, I get 1.5. So here I'm gonna go six plus 1.5 is 7.5. Plus 1.5 is uh, nine plus 1.5 is 10.5, plus 1.5 is 12. So on occasions, and you know, keep going up um, or backwards subtracting 1.5 to figure that out. So on occasions you will have weird numbers, um, you know, so don't worry about that so much, but do show your work and that will help you a lot, out a lot. Okay, good luck with that.